the manosphere, the men's movement, Mkdao, men going their own way, and red-pilled men. Chapter 1. The Manosphere 1, The 21st Century Men's Movement My Awakening to This New Men's Movement Thing I created my dating book because I thought it was a useful practical book. I never gave a thought to something called men's rights, men's activism, men's liberation, mktow, or being a red-pilled guy. I started seeing all this stuff online about Manosphere Men's Rights Activism Slash MRA Pickup Artists Slash Puas Incels, Involuntary Celibacy, Men Who Want To A Girlfriend But Don't Have One Either Because They're Too Short, Ugly, Fat, Poor, Etc. To Be Viewed As Attractive To Women Red-Pilled Guys, Guys Who Basically See Women As Cunning Manipulative phonies who pretend to be open-minded and loving but just want a handsome chad with money to use. Blue-pilled guys, the average working man who wants a wife and tries to be a good husband even if she's a bitch, these guys have their limits, some end up with decent women, the ones that don't divorce then end up as red pill or black-pilled guys. Black-pilled guy, the guy who's tired of women and tired of a bullshit capitalist world, he's resigned to the fact that this is as good as it gets. Life will not get better, he will not get rich and have a bevy of starlets at his beck and call as promised by pop culture entertainment in rap videos, etc. Simp, kook, cuckold, wimp or beta male, a weak guy who gets into a relationship with a woman who might be ugly, a bitch, etc. But he feels happy to be in the relationship and takes her abuse, works for her, does what's he's told, etc. MGTOWs men going their own way, guys who might be creatively inspired by nature and want to live interesting lives without being burdened by a monogamous relationship but from my own experience, less than 3% of all guys are like this. Most MGTOWs are guys who got tired of the bullshit of trying to please a woman for cheap sex. They're happy not having to spend their money on anyone but themselves. They're happy. Single men who don't need a relationship with a woman which is very enlightening to me because I came of age in the 1980s when the race was on as soon as you hit 23 to get married and settle down. It was brutal cultural pressure. I had no idea that all these YouTube channels existed until I listened to the two Canadian guys on the Grim Erica channel talk about manpower or something like that. They mentioned some names like Jordan Peterson, Rollo Tomasi, Rush V, and several other guys which I thought was ridiculous because there's not much to being a real man. Know your true nature. Have the guts to live by it by releasing your natural inspired energy all the time in a world that's trying to make you a wage slave. That's it. That's the whole formula to be a warrior and hero of your own life but they got dozens of YouTube channels, books, seminars, and an entire pickup artist industry which doesn't work according to the guy at Fashiondelms who I agree with because women got you down within a second of seeing you. They decide whether they'll smile or not. They either like you or don't right off the bat based on primal look. All that pickup artistry stuff doesn't matter much. It might help a beta male with money but good looking. Healthy looking alpha males don't need it much. Women smile at them. They don't have to say much. Just don't be a dick. The manosphere movement to an older guy who's blown all his youthful ego testosterone BS. I didn't realize this modern day men's movement had taken on a life of its own in the YouTube era way more advanced than the men spouting off the sensitive male message as I was coming of age in the 1980s. It's crazy on YouTube. There are hundreds of Mtao and Red Pilled channels and videos. It's not a direct response to the Me Too sexual assault women's movement. The anger was always there. It's not about men being unjustly accused of sexual harassment and abuse en masse. It's more about screw you with your skinny or fat feminist ass, thinking you're all that in a bag of chips, trying to pretend you're so cool, fashionable and you got power over men. They come running to you. They'll be your little bitch just for a bit of sex. Guys are just saying I don't need this crap. It's no sweat for me to jerk off in private if I feel horny. Other than that, screw them with their stupid attitudes they got from watching all that pop culture and social media crap that turns them from being decent human beings to ugly, snotty people. I don't need them. They all got their heads up their asses. Whenever you see a female in public alone, 
chances are she's looking at her smartphone rather than living in the real world in the moment. Men are getting tired of being treated as doormats by women they try to date in a gentlemanly way. I was supposed to date women in a gentlemanly was as a young man and got rejected many times for trying to be a good guy with good intentions but I still think it's wrong to create YouTube channels to bash women. I think people with anger should just be quiet and try to live a good life for themselves because you never win any argument even if you win it because you just create more hate. I listen to Democracy Now! and other stuff quite often as I go for walks not because I give a crap about what they're talking about. I don't. I just want to listen to what these asshole hypocrites are hating on today. That's the hypocrisy of all activists. They think they're loving but they only love people who agree with them and hate anyone who doesn't. That's why I scorn all so-called liberals. That's why I think all feminists have hate in their hearts, probably because they're not the beautiful women who men swoon over that they want to be. Men too have a massive hate movement against women. I've listened to a lot of Mktow, Red Pilled, and Blacked YouTube channels and videos. Voltaire said it's no good to be extreme in anything. Don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Everything in life is individual despite what anybody tells you. There is no tribe of women against men. There are just individuals. There are good and bad men and women. Some women are high and mighty uppity snobs. Some are ugly lesbian feminists. Some men are grease balls and one-dimensional thugs. You will come across bitches and nice women so stay cool. Don't hate on all women and say to yourself you're not gonna bother trying to get laid or trying to find a girlfriend. It's too drastic. Everybody gets lonely. Everybody needs the soft voice of a true friend. If you can't find one, love a pet and don't hate on people because if you do, you'll give off the hate vibe and never find new friends. Don't take all this mktow, red-pilled stuff you hear on YouTube and everywhere else too seriously. Be real. It's better to try to be a decent person and get laid than to be a misogynist, an irrational hater of women. The individual vs. Society's hero. Nothing has changed since Charles Dickens's character David Copperfield asked if he would be the hero of his own life or a wimp. I figured it out a long time ago. Society wants you to be a certain way, mainly a wage slave working a job, married with kids then you're completely controllable by the need for money. I wanted to be free in the 1980s so I studied a bullshit major called educational psychology, taught a few courses and spent the rest of my time doing what I wanted, living a naturally inspired life, pursuing some hedonism. I got tired of drugs after I got enlightened because when you know your true nature and live by it, striving to release your natural energy every day, you don't need drugs. Getting high gets old anyway. You earn self-respect and a sense of well-being by doing what you love to do with gusto. I managed to live like this all my adult life after I got enlightened at 27. I needed money to live. I earned it but lived in small places, never owning much because my life was about having the freedom of time to do whatever I wanted. I was listening to the YouTube Human Channel. He brought the idea back to me, society's heroes versus healthy selfishness. Society wants you to be its version of a hero not be who you really are. There's pressure everywhere. If you're a guy who doesn't want to get married, the implication is that you're either gay, alcoholic slash druggy, pervert. Forbes magazine has a bunch of pale, nerdy-looking guys on the cover touted as winners, guys who work every day and run companies. To me, they're wasting their lives doing what other people want but I don't judge them. It's not worth it to waste time hating others. They are what they are. Just smile, make superficial pleasantries and otherwise ignore them. Everybody is on their little ego trip even all the bitches who think they're all that. You're supposed to be flirty and hit on women. That's what they want. I hear stories on the Darkness Prevails YouTube channel about all these women afraid of creeps coming onto them but they would really be worried if no one came onto them which happens soon enough after a woman ages. So what if you own a big sports car and a big mansion? Real happiness comes from doing what you feel in your true nature. I'd like the money to have the absolute freedom to buy what I want but I earn modest amounts of money. 
I can't be bothered putting in the effort to earn loads of money by sacrificing my time and my soul. I heard a story on one of these Mtao channels about how they shamed the Japanese pilots to become kamikaze pilots and crash their planes into ships. There was some movie called Sergeant York with Gary Cooper about how they manipulated this country boy to become a WW2 war hero. They draft young men to die in useless wars so fat cats can get rich. That's society's bullshit. The real injustice of being a man according to me. I can't be myself. I'm not allowed to be a full human being. I have to be a tough macho man ready to sacrifice myself for everybody else like in war or working my ass off to support a wife, kids, etc. I was a natural creative heterosexual as a kid. I played trumpet and did other things but I wasn't allowed to express the multicolored life I felt. I did a lot of macho, athletic things because I wanted to so that made me popular but a lot of guys aren't blessed with a macho body or adventurous spirit. They call all non-athletic guys nerds even if they do interesting things. I simply wasn't allowed to show emotion, complain, whine, etc. They just told us to shut up, go to work and suck it up. I don't remember any girls on those morning newspaper routes we did. All us boys in my family worked in the woods carrying wood for my father's smoke houses. He was a meat man, making tons of meat product every week. That was hard work. The big thing for me was being brainwashed by my Catholic faith to get married and have kids. I'm horny by nature as I've written about in my sex books. There is no righteous way for me to live in a monogamous relationship. I have to release my sexual energy. I prefer the freedom to do what I want than to keep it in and have sex with one woman for life when we're both in the mood which is very low according to all sex survey statistics. Men work the crappiest jobs everywhere. They shame us into being patriotic so we can die in wars created by rich, fat guys. Nowadays, men are fighting for these rights. No circumcision at birth. Man has the right to his biological baby. Divorce money rights. Child custody, visitation, and parental rights. Men battered in domestic disputes. Chapter 2 The Manosphere 2 The Myth of Male Power by Warren Farrell 1993, An Early Look at the Lie of Male Privilege This is an early book for male power. Men get sucked into working to support the wife and kids, doing the dirty jobs, going to war, being white knights, etc. Try these numbers at the library. 305.3221 HQ 1090.3 en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash the underscore myth underscore of underscore male underscore power. WarrenFarrell.org WarrenFarrell.info WHymanEarnMore.com WarrenFarrell.ws WarrenFarrell.com Mktow, Red Pilt, etc. is now classified as hate speech, illegal or demonetized on most social media platforms. They call it misogyny, hate of women. They called Julian Assange a racist, the guy at WikiLeaks who exposed corruption everywhere. The phony left-wing, liberal haters try to silence and shame truth speakers by calling them Nazis, racists, and woman haters. CNN's Lisa Ling did a show on divorced men where they profiled Mtao in November, 2018. Shortly after that, the big websites started attacking Mtao content. The Southern Poverty Law Center claims to fight hate but is itself a hate group, hating the people they don't like not hating all haters equally. SBLcenter.org slash fighting hyphen hate slash intelligence hyphen report slash 2012 slash misogyny hyphen sites. Watch the Red Pill movie free at tubitv.com slash movies slash 399199 slash the underscore red underscore pill. Not free on YouTube. The movie was created by a former wannabe blonde actress movie star. It starts out as feminist then supports men's rights at the end like infant circumcision. Why are men circumcised at birth? It's a crime. Somehow. I got away uncut in a Canadian hospital at birth where circumcision was common. Men are routinely ground up in divorces, have the most suicides, unemployment, etc. 
the movie is mostly about father's rights, paternity rights, child custody, and visitation rights. A man who was proven to not be a father by a DNA test still has to pay child support. It's about obsolete laws for fathers. The laws have to change. Paul Elam supposedly founded the men's rights movement. Most of men's rage is in child custody, visitation, and support. Men lose almost all the time. It's called men's rights. Men have rights to their newborn baby. The mother can't just adopt it away. The father has a right to take the kid. Feminist men make the mistake or lie that all extremists do. They blame men for everything and blame all men for bad boys. A few men rape women. Most don't but feminists like to say there is a rape culture among men. It's a fight between the genders that neither side will win so don't fight anyone just live a great life as an individual. The Beta Male Movement There are courses being taught to teach men to not be toxic which amounts to teaching men not to pursue women romantically. You can't stop a certain amount of sexual assault. You can scare men so much that they won't approach women romantically. I was a young man in the 1980s when the culture was to be a macho man. Some people say that the estrogen from birth control pills being flushed away in female urine gets into the water supply through wastewater treatment where water is recycled to be drinkable again. Some people think this has feminized men a lot. It's not just that. It's the culture. It seems cool to be a skinny or fat beta male these days because of the ideology of accepting everybody as they are, etc. I simply respect men who look like alpha males or just tough, like they can do a good day of physical work. I don't respect guys who look wimpy. I see guys apologizing for the supposed past behaviors of men and acting like feminist wimps. I don't buy it. I am me. Even though I'm old. I still got testosterone flowing through my veins. I'm simply not a wimp or anybody's kook. I never will be. When social programming changes men from being tough guys to being wimps, the culture sucks. I don't know if it's a big conspiracy but I have my own dignity as a man and that's it.